Hey guys, as you remember, last video I landed some aircrafts only using the mouse. In today's video I'm gonna try out to land some aircrafts again using the mouse in more dangerous airports. I've chosen the Tegucigalpa in Honduras. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let us begin with a Cessna Skyhawk. On this airport there were many crashes. By the way, this airport is called Tonkonten Airport and it's located in Honduras. And as you can see, I have again the cross in the middle of my screen. And if I click on it, you can see I can control the plane using my mouse. Oh well, maybe we crash into the mountain. Let's accelerate. Maybe it should be helpful to know where the runway is actually. There's the runway. Oh well. Let us ignore that I just didn't found the runway. Let us continue with a more robust aircraft. Why did I crash? Why did I crash? I decided to approach from the other side. You can't land this aircraft using the flaps. Out. That's gonna be another run. No, it won't. It won't. Okay. Let's have a look at this beautiful landing. Well, actually, we should have landed already here, like here, but we didn't. But as you can see, we have stopped and that's all what counts, right? On this attempt, we're gonna use the A319. And I can imagine if the 737 operates on this airport, the A319 can do so too. You have to consider it's a really short runway. It's around about two kilometers. And this is really not long, especially the higher the runway is, the longer is the braking distance. We need to be very slow at landing to have a short braking distance. Ouch. But we've stopped very, very fast. <gasps> oh gosh, the runway. <laughs> this time we didn't land too late and to be honest, it was a pretty decent landing. This time I want to operate the McDonnell Douglas 80 on this airport. And as you can see, I'm already too high for the airport, but we can't be lower due to the mountain here. Ouch. This is a really quick stopper. First it seems to be good, but then we floated very long over the runway. And then this hard touchdown. Well, it could be worse, but this was definitely not a good landing. Now let's have the 747. The 747 is a very quick stopper. Different than other aircrafts, it uses four reverse thrust on each engine. The A380 for example only has reverse thrust on the inner engines. I really have to pull up as you can see to not scrape the mountain. I can imagine being a tourist here on this mountain can be really interesting to see all the aircrafts flying over this mountain. But finally we've stopped. That's what counts, right? Finally, let us have the 777. Unfortunately, I don't have a DHL livery because they used to operate on this airport. But instead of DHL, we can have a FedEx cargo livery. Oh gosh. We can still do it. Let's hope we will stop and won't overrun. This was probably the most dangerous approach I've ever seen. That was definitely a tail strike. But the landing itself was pretty bad. And yeah guys, that was today's video. Gonna see you next time. Bye bye.